Welcome to Lullaby. I could use one right now because I've not had a single decent night's sleep in about a week. When Haru was five years old, she woke up in the middle of the woods without any previous memories, all alone. The only things she remembers are her first name and a son. A lullaby was stuck in her head. What a way of a path of this game is going to go. This is a RPG Maker horror game. That is probably inspired by other horror games as well, considering looking at the, uh, the synopsis of the game itself. Right, warning! The following content may be disturbing some, to some players. Please proceed with caution. Okay. Play intro, absolutely. We're in it for the story, after all. It could be the case that some people are just um, looking to play the game rather than look at the story. Which I don't understand, because part of playing these games is to unravel the stories themselves. There could be a movie because some people aren't able to play movies and RPG Maker games on their computers. Looks like a swamp. Nope, not a swamp. It's somewhere. Oh wait, My it could be a swamp. Green. What was green? What was green, huh? Everything. Everything. It was everywhere I looked. Trees, grass, moss. All I knew was the color green. And the merciless cold. I was shivering. I was lost. I didn't know where I was. Or who I, I didn't was. Know who I was. My whole world was green. Green. Green as the summer leaves. When I was five years old, I was found in the forest near the orphanage I now live in. I was always so I was all alone. I had nothing with me but the clothes on my back and the teddy bear I carried in my hand. All I could remember was my first name. The police couldn't find my parents or any other relatives. No one had reported me missing, and without my full name, they couldn't find them. If they even wanted to be found. As I grew older, I began to understand that I wasn't normal. Missing pieces. Of your memory? Yeah. It was all as if my mem all of my memories previous to the forest had been deleted, and together with my memories, I lost my voice. I felt broken. The doctors called it selective mutism and retrograde amnesia. Okay, I called it a curse. Yeah, that's a simpler way of putting it. I could remember was my name. Well, my name and a melody. And what is your first name? Lullaby. That is indeed a thing that is around here. This game. Hello, Haru. That is your name indeed. My head hurts again. This is the third headache I've had this week and it's only Thursday. Damn it. It's getting worse. Have you taken some paracetamol? Somebody of your age where can only take one at a time. It's kind of scary, not knowing what exactly is wrong with me. I don't know what I should do. I'll try going to bed and sleeping it off, but first I have to talk to Ms. Baldorf about this. She should know. Baldorf. The, um, the bear or your, uh... Oh, for goodness sakes, my plant. Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to skip past that first bit of a text. I was trying to pronounce the name of this person. Oh uh, dear, I should dust my room soon. I'd love to go to sleep right now, but I have to talk to Miss Bald... It's not a name you see every day, first. I don't like it when people discriminate me for not being able to pronounce a word properly. This book has been lying here for ages. I keep telling myself I'll continue reading it soon, but I keep putting it off. Somehow it just doesn't feel right to keep putting it off or for reading it. Notes from yesterday's history class. They have been erased to history. I should wash this dirty laundry soon. Indeed, bookshelf filled with my favorite books. And... I used to read all the time, but lately I haven't felt the urge to do so at all. I haven't felt the urge to do anything, really. Okay, oh dearie me. Don't say bad about yourself, the lamp is a bit dusty. I should dust my room soon. Right. There's a chair, now let's go. Oh, but there's a phone. Oh, hi. You must be Miss. Oh, great. It's you. Ugh. Are you still carrying the old filthy teddy bear around? Okay, so this has got to be a body of sorts. Not going to answer. 
Oh, right, I forgot. My bad. <laughs> it's moments like these that I especially wish I could... I see, she's a mute girl. I always imagine making Miriam feel as awful as she makes me feel. I imagine telling her how it's no wonder her parents never wanted her, seeing how rude and arrogant she is, that they made the right choice. Sometimes fighting with fire, well, not at all, fighting fire with fire is a good thing, but there's also, the, then I regret those cruel thoughts. I know Miriam hasn't had it easy, her parents brought her to this orphanage when she was eight, so she remembers them and knows that she had been given up for adoption. And now that she is 17, she only has a few more months until she has to move out and find her own flat. I know it's no excuse for her behavior, but it's an explanation. Hmm, yeah. That is indeed true. Let's see. Oh, we can save here, lovely, lovely. Let's see, items. Not even our bear is an accessory in our items list, but courtesy phone. It's for the kids who don't have their own phone. I've never used it. For obvious reasons. So, Haru, if you can't tell by now, is a mute person. Let's see, I don't want to go in there and risk getting yelled at. Again. And there's a light. And what about this? Whose room is this? Nina's not here. She's probably in Lucy's, Lucas's room. Since they're always, almost always together. I wonder if she'll be spending the night again. Hmm... Rather odd. Nina's room is quite empty, and come to think of it, Lucas's is too. They've only been here for half a year or so. I guess it still doesn't feel like a home to them. Hmm, Nina's bed. A bedside table with a lamp. Okay, that's a light. A wardrobe. I wonder if there's like multiple endings. And the end itself is affected because you've tampered with the light. Hey, I know you've been here. How do I know? Because when I left the room, the light was off. and But, but the light was on. Oh gosh, this is one of the rooms that are empty. They're always locked. Don't meddle with the empty rooms. Or even the occupied rooms for that matter. Alright. There's that. Maybe some fresh air will help with my headache. Uh, no, no, that's not the time. Okay. Stay inside. We need to explore more before proceeding through with the story. Alright. This room. Hello. Oh. Hey, Eddie. Wanna play? I'm so bored. I got a new board game. I couldn't try out yet because no one wanted to play with me. I just don't feel like it. Eddie is a good kid, but knowing him, I wouldn't be able to leave until he got bored of the game, which could take hours. Hmm. Looking at his expectant smile, I just want to say yes. But not only is my head killing me, I also shouldn't put off talking to Miss Baldiff for much longer. I smile apologetic apologetically and shake my head. Oh, come on, why not? I point to the clock on his wall and shrug. Oh, okay. I'm going to look through my other stuff then. Sorry, Eddie, I know you're a good spirited kid a good good hearted kid a broken jack in a box it was one of eddie's favorite toys when it broke he cried for hours damn it probably we shouldn't have spun it round again just so that he can hear that broken me mechanism again eddie's piggy bank must be almost full i never see him spend any of his monthly allowance i guess he's been saving money what for i don't know Maybe he wants to open up his own business. Oh, do you want that? I have way too many pencils and plenty of paper. Oh, receive pen and paper. Hell yeah. Going around these rooms is a delight. When he was three years old, he decided the wall was a much better canvas and paper. He got in so much trouble, obviously. I oh, know what happened. Turn the light back on, please. It's scary. Oh, I hate the dark. Oh no, he looks like he's about to cry. How could I forget that Eddie is afraid of the dark? I didn't mean to scare I feel I feel awful to you, know? But I didn't know that until now. I sign a I'm sorry and hope Eddie still remembers what it means. Aside from Ms. Boldiff, no one here understands sign language. Nina, Lucia so Luca and Eddie only know a few basics and Miriam never bothered to learn. You didn't mean to, right? Then it's okay. 
Indeed. I don't want to go to Eddie's bathroom. That would be weird. Yeah, that would be definitely be weird. Very weird. Especially when it's the opposite gender's bathroom. Right. Locks. Locks. This room, though. Ah, these two. Hi, Haru. Hello, you two. I wave. So, wave and smile back. I try to combine wave and smile together to make wild. <laughs> make it a questioning gesture. Miming something along the lines of, May I come in? Huh? Oh, yeah, come in. You two. Are you siblings? Maybe one of us from another room, actually. A bedside table with a lamp. And... Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Turn the light back on. Fine, I'll turn it back on. What about if I do... I shouldn't do this again. <laughs> oh, I know. It's getting dark. The shelf as part of Lucas's desk is filled with romance novels and fashion magazines. That's what he spends his allowance on. The shelf is filled with books. I'm unable to read some of the titles. They seem to be written in a foreign language. But are they able to do it? That'd be weird at all. Looks like Nina will be staying the night with Luca again. Normally boys and girls aren't allowed to sleep in the same room, but every time Ms. Bolduf tried to make them sleep separately, they sneakily snuck into each other's rooms always. I don't see a problem with it. It must be strange for them to be apart because they're twins. They've been with each other since their first breath. So that's the story behind them. They definitely do look like twins. Nina sleeps on these cushions when she's staying over. Okay. Yeah, it's not exactly logical or reasonable to try and hold an entire bed over. Let's see. Upstairs. Hmm. Now, this is the thing. Do we want to take a breath of fresh air first or speak with her? Actually, you know what? We'll take, a, we'll take some fresh air. Go outside. Nothing's going to be wrong by going outside, right? Not at all, exactly. Nothing is bad about going outside of the orphanage. How dare they now? Right, that looks like a warp pipe out of Mario Bros. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, looks like we could climb that. Uh, red flowers, blue flowers, a bench. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Sometimes a repeat of something can trigger a different event. I don't want to leave. Are you sure you don't want to leave? Explore the big wide world out there. Okay, maybe not. Pond? Not exactly a lake. If I go back inside, I won't go outside again. Stay outside for a bit longer. Is there anything else we can do while we're out here? Any interactivities? Any possible means of getting a different outcome? But this is that. Where was that hat though? Or was there a button? I can't quite can't quite tell with all this going on. Rope. There's a says. There's a swing. <laughs> That's a slide. I was about to call it swings. I don't know why. Sandbox. You can tell how old I am because I've forgotten the name of children's toys and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll go back inside and then I don't want to go outside again. Has it gone darker? I think it might have gone a bit darker. Is it just me? Maybe it's the light level adjusting. A shelf with a plant on top. Inside the shelf is the old VHS player we don't really use anymore. Plus a few books and magazines. The plant is Miss Bidolf's favourite. A fiddle leaf fig. Okie dokie. Let's see, what about this way? Which is the way to the office? I don't want to... Hold on. Let's save first and then let's just go in these rooms. Knock. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I feared. We're exploring the other rooms first. This is Miss Bidolf's room. It's always locked when she isn't inside. She must be in her office. Next door. No. We're gonna search this room over here first. And then... What exactly is this room? A train set. Miriam used to love playing with it. It's a good thing Miriam is leaving in a year or so. It doesn't have cable, but there are plenty of DVDs to watch. We can only watch DVDs at certain times, though Miss Bidoof is very strict about that. Turn it on! How dare we not turn on the TV when the opportunity presents itself? It's kind of creeping me out. I'll turn it off. 
But you won't be very creepy is if you attempt to turn it off, but it doesn't turn off. And then you pull a plug away from the uh, power socket. And then a few moments later, it will come back on even though there's no electricity going to it. I wonder who read it. A book about snails. Well, obviously a very slow reader. Ha <laughs> uh, so ha! I'm not mean to be rude, but by the way. Uh, a bookshelf is filled to the brim with books. It looks like it might collapse soon. Uh, what was that about midnight and stuff like that? I'm pretty sure they belong to Luca. He loves claws. A bookshelf. Uh, okay. A uh, bookshelf is filled to the brim with books. The books look old and well read. I'm really tired, but I still can't get a good night's sleep. Not at all. I hate it when you have a consistency of not being able to sleep well. The plant smells pleasantly sweet. And stuff like that. A glass display cabinet. Inside are our fancy dishes. Fancy dishes. The sun is setting. Three carrots. One of them looks like someone starts to cut into pieces but gave up halfway through. Whoever left this will get scolded by Miss Bidolf, I'm sure. Exactly. Why did someone have the audacity to start something but never finish it when it's as simple as cutting carrots? Paper towels. Maybe it's Miriam and she's trying to put the blame on somebody else. Since we are the oldest, Miriam and I had to keep close watch on Eddie when he was younger. Every time he was in the kitchen, he wanted to turn on the stove top. Preventing him from hurting himself was very stressful. Even more so because I had to do it together with Miriam. Yeah. Yeah. For goodness sakes, Miriam. It smells like dish soap. For goodness. Our, our new mic. Our new microwave. What does the cat sauce do it to me? Afraid. It doesn't have a repeat function so that when you look at certain text, it doesn't allow all of the text to be repeated. You can pause the video and see what it says. <laughs> Honestly, my bad, folks. That's like, that just shows how tired I am because I'm just getting through. No, we knock first before we enter. We're polite about it. Come in. We're not going to go barge in. Oh, ho! One moment, please. What can I help you with? For a moment, I fumbled with my hands, not sure how to word it without making it seem whiny. Is everything all right? She doesn't look that happy. I hesitantly shake my head. The headaches are getting worse, I sign. The meds aren't helping. Hmm. I'm going to make an appointment with Dr. Hill for you tomorrow, and you're going to tell him. Maybe he can prescribe you something else. My shoulders slump. Hmm. I don't know what else I expected Miss Bedolf to say. Of course she would suggest going to Dr. Hill. It is the logical thing to do. I'm just... I'm sick of being sick. In the last year alone, I've been to the doctor's office more times than other people in their whole lives. No matter how often I go, no matter what kind of therapy or medicine they try out from on me, it's no use. I've lost all hope that they are able to help me with my memories or the, the horrible memories I get. But still, Miss Bedolf doesn't seem to have given up on me. So for her sake, I forced a smile and nod. I'm going to call him first thing tomorrow morning. It's going to be fine. You don't know that. For some odd reason, the, uh, the sides on her mouth and this portrait makes it look like she always has a grin on her or something like that. Or her mouth is always wide, wide open. Widely open? Now, was that all? I nod and sign, thank you. Good night, then. Our lights were poor and bully. With books about psychology. Uh, it's filled with books about child psychology and parenting guides. The cabinet smells like chocolate. No wonder everyone knows that Miss Bidoof has a sweet tooth. Yeah, I'm calling you Bidoof. Pokemon Bidoof. Um, Boldoof. The bookshelf is filled with history and ge ge geography books. It's filled with atlases and encyclopedias. I didn't see what that was for a second there. I already talked to Miss Boldiff. I shouldn't use up any more of her time. The clock. It's a computer. Some papers and CDs. 
And what's on this side? Nope. Uh, what's on this side? Books about math. That's a true horror in this game. Books about the history of math as a science. Also falls under the horror category. The Gift of Trit Tritigan by Susie McCullough. I'd expect Miss Bedolf to read young adult literature. She just seems so intellectual with her passion for non-fiction. But I guess it's true that one shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Literally. Sci-fi novels. Books about geometry. Books about psychology. And The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat and Other Clinical Tales by Oliver Sacks. Well, looks like they dropped the sack with that one. Okay. Time to go to bed, Finn, I imagine? Unless... Mr. Snarky Pants is going to come out and bully me again for my inability to talk. And there's no reason to bully someone because they're unable to talk. In fact, there's no reason to bully anyone whatsoever. There is no excuse for it. No matter what hypothetical scenario or timeline you think you are. What? What's going on? I think I know that song. And that voice. Where is that song coming from? Is that my... Mom? Oh, my head is amnesia. That's what the headaches are related to. You try and remember something and you kind of have like a very, very vague resemblance of what's going on. But when you try and have that kind of remembrance of whatever it is that is being recovered, you get the headaches because you're overworking yourself. I think it's coming from outside. I need to get there. But what if the front door's locked? What if the front door's locked? You always have your bear on you. Oh, I shouldn't waste any time. Oh, are you sure about that? No, we'll leave the lights off. Uh, we'll leave this light on, though. Uh, damn, I forgot Miss Boulder always locks the doors before she goes to bed. Which makes sense. Oh no, the voice is getting further away. What should I do if I wait until tomorrow? She'll be gone for sure. I need to go, I need the key. Bless in Miss Bedolf's bedroom. Looks like we're going sneaking in. We're sneaking in, I mean. I have to find a way to distract her so I can get the key. Great. Isn't that just fantastic? Absolutely delightful. I need to make a sound or something. But could see if I maybe I can call the phone in Miss Bedolf's office. She left the room, I have to hurry. Oh, golly, golly, jibbers a jabber a merry-gold round. Right, this is, uh, contrary, yeah. Right, where's the key? Where's the, no key, nothing. What, okay, this must be the key, found it. Received front door key, and then, oh, oh, at all. Nobody knew. But then again, my heart's pounding like crazy. I can't believe that worked. Now that I have the key, I don't want to waste any more time. I need to follow that voice outside. It's important. I can feel it in my gut. You're going to be in so much trouble tomorrow. I hope I'm not too late. Let's see. Where are we going throughout these endeavors? Where did the voice tell me to go? Um, okay, the city center sounds better. Um, nope, none of the above. I wonder what happened if we actually did die there, or be found out. Is the city centre the right way? Nope, the voice is gone. Hmm. Nico's library, this is it. The person I heard seeing must be around here somewhere. In the library? Somewhere. Anyway, why is it so empty? Normally the town is still buzzing even when it's late already. Ha <laughs> ha, this is a horror game. Of course it's gonna be empty. When there's other people you feel safe. Or in danger actually. His hands are stuck at 1.20am. You've left the orphanage. Therefore, you have broken the boundaries of this rule. The rule that is this game. They look pretty old. A small collection of magazines, oh dearie me. 
Right, there's that. It's locked. What's up here? A dusty fire extinguisher. The shelf is filled with various children's books. Strange. I wonder why they are here and not with the other books. Questions that can only be answered by the one who put them there in the first place. Okay, I've already looked at that. Is anybody in here? Anybody at all? Books that begin with the letters A and B. C and E. E and F. G and H. Oh, G. H and I. J and K. J, K. Just kidding. S. Oh, they're on this side. Okay. What? Okay, it's reverse. It literally goes in an S formation. So you start from the bottom left. And then you work your way around until you get to here, which is Z. L. M. A. O. <laughs> B and Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. Broom, broom. What? X and Y, you mean? And then Z. Okay, there's something up here. There's something on top of a shelf I can't reach. It's too small for me to make out what it is. Can we get a stool? We can use a, a chair. Could we use a chair? Any one of these chairs will do. Or perhaps somebody would like to come in here who is taller than me. Perhaps that's not going to be that simple then, isn't it? Great. Just fantastic. Oh, there's this chair though. Can we grab this chair? Nope, we can't use... Our options are getting very limited. I'm not going to lie. Our options are very, very limited when it comes to this. Can I get a chair? Can I stack some books to form a stair? Can I just... I don't know. Think of one of the two things that I could do. Use the books to form stairs or use a chair to... Be a small step ladder sort of thing. But no. Usually the good stuff... Is locked away by illogical stuff. 1.20 a.m. Is that meant to be a hint of sorts? What about this place? It's locked. What about this? Nope. Everything is locked apparently. Even my chances at succeeding. Right. It's locked. Great. My soul is locked away inside one of these trash chutes. Okay. Parking. Anybody in the car? Maybe that's a VW, boom, boom. What about this over here? The Caddy Von Frankenstein School. Can we go into this school and find out what there is going on in this school? It's locked. Locked is again. Locked. 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 All of these are locked. The school being open is highly irresponsible at night. Mathematical calculations gives my head a headache. I don't understand them at all. A trash can is empty, an even bigger headache than the amnesia ones, the cupboard is locked. A calculus textbook, more headaches. Just some scraps of paper. An algebra textbook, more headaches. Scraps, calculus, maths, maths. What about on this board? Nothing. This is the only thing in the room that doesn't involve maths, aside from the number of leaves on the fake plant itself. It's the school's blackboard. My cat got pregnant unexpectedly, so five kittens are looking for a new home. If you're interested, call blank, 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 and blank, blank. Okay, 1B. B or not to be. What about this on the board here? The writing's too smudged to make out what it says. It's a costume. This like it belongs in a Shakespearean play. Oh, goodness sake. It's either open wood. Open the window and have 50 mile an hour gust winds pouring into here. Or feel like you're being suffocated. I don't know which one I prefer. Poems and sonnets. That's actually the first time I've seen that word before. A collection of different novels and pieces of fiction. Poems and sonnets. Just some scraps of paper. Collection of short stories. Okay. Collection of poems. Scraps of paper. Short stories. Scraps of paper. It said in the synopsis of this game, but it'll take about an hour to an hour and a half to finish. Although knowing me, it's probably going to be like at least two hours. 
if not even more, because I like to explore everything and everywhere. The time limit on games when provided by the developers is a bit hit and miss because because people develop the game itself, they know exactly how long it will take to complete it because they've had to look through the game multiple times in order to test it to see if everything works. What is geography? Quite simply, geography broken down means to study the earth. And throughout your studies is this book. So in this book, we're going to expand on this definition. Okay. This is definitely a room about geography. A geography textbook. Are we going to find some atlases? Are we going to find some atlases in this room? The answer is yes. Maps. Can I have a map to where I need to go right now? It's a world map. And somehow Europe is the biggest continent according to that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's in a hypothetical sense. You are potentially the smallest continent in the world. If you're not counting Antarctica, that is. But then again, if you put Antarctica and try and place it right next to Europe, it could probably have more land mass. I don't know, actually. The study of something often begins with a question. This book itself is set around a series of questions. Some smaller, some larger. Over the course of this entire world geography book, you explore one major question. What is the meaning of life? How we, as members of a global society, connect? Okay. Just some scraps are connected. So I'm for a sandwich in there. I got one bite taken out of it. I hate when people waste food. Yeah, you're not exactly going to pick it up, are you? Because that would be gross. That would be a gross thing to do. Oh, there's a globe there. I just realised that. An old globe, it smells weird. Oh dear. Oh dearie me, it's logged, it's it's that. Up another floor. What is with it? Okay. I'm going to explore these lockers for goodness sakes, and this is the last thing that I do. Because after all, I like to explore everything and try and get as many secrets as I can. There's only three safe slots. Which could be a testament to how short this game is. But then again, Miso is quite a long, well not a fairly long game, but stuff right this must be the music room then the speaker looks high quality i wonder where the school got the budget hmm, inside are trambourines triangles and other small instruments the same thing there the clock has stopped it's stuck his hands are stuck at 120 just like the other place just like the library the trash can is filled with crumpled up paper anything of note a poster that shows different chords for the piano and look at that. A piano. I always thought there was something nostalgic about pianos. I'm not sure why. Is this where we need to be? Maybe in a past timeline you were a pianoist. A book on musical theory. Right. Anything else that we can explore about? Then we shall move on to the next class, if that is going to be the case. I'm going to explore these, don't, I, don't, I don't care if I'm wasting time. This is the computer room. It's a computer, it seems like the power's out. It won't turn on. How dare it not turn on? This is the best time trying to find information. Where do I need to go to progress through the story of the game? I'm going to look for all these, god damn it. Even if it's a half an hour of a waste of time just exploring stuff that's not even there. I'm still doing it nonetheless. But computer's missing a bad one, actually. Not so good. Maybe it needs to be repaired, and that's why it's not in the room. Inside is a tangled mess of cords and plugs. Very necessary. It's locked. Oh, great. Do we need to find a key, then? No, that's not where the missing computer is. That's where the person who is teaching the class is seated at. Right, all about these ones. Well, these ones look slightly different, actually. There's a darker shade of blue underneath and onto the side of these lockers. There's a, wait, that door was ajar. That wasn't just me, right? That door definitely was ajar. A biology textbook. I wonder if this skeleton is inspired by something. Just some scraps of paper. Biology textbooks. And I say inspired, not copied. Because copy literally means is that you're just doing the entire thing 
from main game and then put it into this game. It would be like having two different visual art styles. One from the game which was copied from, then this. But this is not that. This is what you would call put into the game. Drawn into the game. Or something along the lines. I can't explain it, but I feel like I'm about to have a bad time. Yeah, we should get away from that skeleton. Hello. Look. Is that blood? No, that's tomato juice. Don't worry, it's tomato juice. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Maybe it wasn't a jar. It could be just be my imagination. But it was the biology class, and it did have a skelly in it. Right. 3C. How many floors are here? This is obviously about space. Or at least, like, physics and stuff like that. Oh, astronomy textbook. Just some scraps of paper. Astronomy textbooks. Wow. An entire classroom dedicated to astronomy. Like, this is the sort of stuff that you don't ever see in school, really. Look! It's a map of the solar system. An astrology poster. Look! There's a Jupiter, a Saturn in the middle. Then there's the sun over to the right. And there's obviously other gas plants over there, Uranus and Neptune. And no, Pluto is not a planet, it's a dwarf planet. Alright. Oh, there's a crack on the floor. That sounded dangerous, I shouldn't step on that crack again. No, oh, I want to step on it again just to see what would happen, you know. Just some scraps of paper. Oh, look at that! It's a possible love letter. Well, I just... <laughs> How cute, yeah. Very cute. That's one way we could traverse our feelings if we can't talk is through the power of letters. A history textbook. A poster about the Renaissance. Right. What else is in here? History textbooks. History textbooks. Goodness sakes, history textbooks. That. Scraps of paper. That. Excuse me. That as well. Just nothing in there yet. We're going to do our traditional look at everything. Fire extinguisher. Dusty fire extinguisher. What about in here? Is there anything in here? Oh, it went back for some other reason. Uh, nothing of interest. What? Sub oh, this is definitely science. Um, chemistry. Call it. <laughs> chemistry, 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 chemistry. And a periodic table of elements. What is an element? What is a compound? And what is a mixture? I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be left out in the open. This is what you call a horror game. Nothing is as it should be. So if you see a bunch of chemicals lying around in the chemistry class, that is most obviously because this is not a normal scenario. How many floors does this school have? Well, this looks like the girl's bathroom. Oh, what the hell? Who the hell used up this toilet paper on the floor? That toilet paper is going to be not usable at some point. For goodness sakes, it's a sparse resource in this pandemic. It's me. It is me. It is me. It's not me. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, there's something wrong with that. Why is me not there? Right, I don't have to go. Hey. Don't you dare deny us the opportunity of not going. We may never know when we need to go again, even though we don't have to be full. Surely we would think that within this kind of scenario, that we should go and do whatever it is that needs to, do, needs to be done. And we're going to the boys' toilet. How rebellious. Right, there's toilet paper in there. I, t I don't have to go. And what about this one over here? I don't have to go. What about this one over here? I can't use those yet, but that seems logical. Right, let's go on then and see a motivational poster. You are the future. How dare you say that to me. Maybe I want to be the past, but the past is history. An array of books and magazines. This must be the infirmary then, considering the beds along there have curtains around them. It's empty, just like my soul. Right, this, the phone doesn't seem to be working. The trash can is filled with crumbled up tissues and medic medical gloves. So I would say medicinal gloves. Medical gloves. Alright, documents belonging to a medical file for someone named Max. They have maxed out on their potential. 
That's rude of me. It's a board with tons of notes stuck on it. All of them are related to school events like field trips and such. What about this over here? Motivational poster. Dreams don't work unless you do. Goodness sakes. Yeah, so dumb. Yeah, they're just words on a piece of paper. The action itself does not personify itself unless you witness yourself with some... I was, I was hitting control rather than shift. I was wondering why I couldn't run there. It's locked. It's locked again. Guess what? Locked. 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 Too many locks means throughout this place. Then there's a fake plant. So literally nothing I can do here. Like, did we go into the school and this must be the principal's office. And the door's... Wait a minute. Why is that door particular, in particular locked? Well, if there's nothing to do in the school then, let's move on. Let's see, what else? Where is everyone? Nobody is around this town. Something about this feels wrong. Sneaking up was a dumb idea. Maybe I won't even find the person who sung that lullaby. Should I go back? No, we're going to explore the city while we're around here. It's locked. I thought that would be open because the street lamp was lit there. But we can't go into this convenient... No, wait, it is a convenience store. A can and bottle of deposit machine. There's a refund receipt sticking out of it. I can't remove it. It almost feels like it's painted on. Weird. An ATM. Let's see. The coffee vending machine. I wish I bought some money. I'm craving for coffee. You're at the age for coffee then? Vegan and vegetarian food. Not my cup of tea. Cut up fruit and smoothies. Now that's better. Right, seafood and fish. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Was it next dope? Okay, let's take a sump. But not as bad. Colt cuts, meat and sausages. Colt. I've never heard of it. Pre made meals. Nah, not pre made ones. Sodas and energy drinks. Nah. I hate those in general, actually. I'm not a big fan of like fizzy drinks or something like that. Sandwiches and wraps. It's just full of sugar. Pre-made meals, dairy products, dairy products, cashier, cash till number one, please. Because there's the only cash toy in this goddamn store. And there's a trolley here. And there's another, there's five trolleys in this store. It's weird how the, um, <laughs> the electrical door works. Oh, look at that. What do we have in here? The grand piano looks shiny and elegant. I always thought there was something to sound about pianos. I'm not sure why. The organ looks beautiful. Let the organs play. A keyboard? Guess is a less expensive alternative to a piano. Yes, yeah, an electrical keyboard. Let's see. High quality speaker. Just pretty pricey. Drum set. I always thought that drums are such a cool instrument. They indeed are cool. And very loud. You can use up all of your energy into it. Alright. Books about music. Theory and collections of sheet music. The same again. Microphone. That's what I'm speaking into right now. A high quality speaker is pretty pricey. This electric guitar looks so awesome. It looks so rad. I kind of want to learn how to play it and all that jazz inside old vinyls or various genres. I can't see. Oh, it's piano chords. Chords. It's an old ra radio. I was about to say it's an old ratio. The antenna is a bit rusted and has a tape player installed. Right. Cash register, it's open. It is. You know, you could have some cash so that you can get that coffee that you're craving for, right? But no, we're a good person, we don't steal. It's weird how the light is. Uh, proximity censored. Sensitive, I mean. Bar! A pool table, it looks brand new. But also, this bar looks empty at night. What the hell? I mean, I know the pandemic is bad, but not this bad. <laughs> Not in the UK anyways, because level of restrictions... Well, sorry. Restrictions have eased down a lot. It's been used so much, but it is more whole than bored now. Yep, that's what dark boards are meant to be... Wait. How is it still ticking? Hmm. Yeah, someone is crying in there. Somebody Okay. Yeah, the clock isn't ticking. But that's a thing, right? Oh. We reached the end of the world. 
Oh no, we want to. Oh no, oh no, we want to completely disappear. It looks like the edges are dissolving. What's going on? What's happening? Am I hallucinating? This is impossible. Well, go back then. How am I going to get back to the orphanage? And I forgot my phone. No, this can't be happening. Oh god, oh god, what am I gonna do? Think of something. I need to calm down. I can't lose my composure. Panicking won't help. Exactly. Let's. I have no choice but to go back to town. Maybe I'll find someone who can help me. Or something. Okay. We're not gonna go to the edge of a world, are we? I mean, this looks pretty fascinating, doesn't it? This edge of a world. Something along those lines. Right, there is something over there, but I'm not gonna pick it up until we investigate the other parts of the, the town. This part of town has been under construction for a while now. Either way, I won't be able to go in that direction. Well, that's kind of good because it restricts the amount of place that we can go to. Right. Let's see. What else is here? Can we go into the... Uh, oh. I see how it is because it means that the player can't just go down and investigate the other buildings around here. If the other parts of town are under for construction. Okay, what about this? My broken stick. Was I here before? I should take it with me. Maybe I can reach the thing in the library with this. And if nothing else, I can use a makeshift weapon to defend myself if worse comes to worse. Yeah, a one-time stick. That's what it is. It's a one-time usage. One-time stick. Alright. Oh, there's a shop, actually. Okay, okay. I thought it was somewhere where people practice. Did it say Marnie's shop? I didn't know she grew up from being a Pokemon trainer to become a musician. But then again, actually, punk rock is a jazz. Or music is a jazz. So yeah. That's the thing. Right, we can use this stick to get whatever is on top of here. Pen and paper? Oh yeah, well, I forgot we picked it up. It smells like wet words. We'll use, we use a, we use a broken stick to get Whatever's on top of there. Um, can we... Maybe we need a chair. Damn it. Neither of the two broken pieces are long enough by themselves. Right. Um, can we use a chair? Oh my goodness sakes. This side as well now. <laughs> we came from this way. It's the same here. I don't know what I was hoping for. But I feel disappointed. I don't know, well at least you know the odds now are not in our favours. This world is becoming smaller and, and smaller. This reminds me of a Pokemon Dark Cry movie where um, the town itself is collapsing and is falling in upon itself. What What the hell? Oh right, I've always walked up a pillar there for some odd reason. It's the world. How's that car there all of a sudden? <laughs> Like, how is a car up on top of that thing? Well, no way, it's just me being daft. Right, there's got to be something within the school which we can use, right? Like a tape or something which we can join the two ends of a stick together. It's got to glow up somehow, somewhere. Something's got to glow. That's what I needed, was there? Is a roll of duct tape. I can use that tape to give a broken stick. But I have any money with me, but again, there also isn't anyone around to say it to me, even if I did. We feel bad, I screw desperate times call for definite measures, and if, when I get out of here, I'll pay for it. You know, you're, you've got a good head between those shoulders, you know that. You've got a good soul. The duct tape looks like it can hold anything together, even broken relationships. Now I could tape the stick back together. Hell yeah, now we've got ourselves a stick. <laughs> we saved stick. <laughs> Why did I call it with this big duct tape and, this two, and these two pieces of sticks that were broken? When we combine them together, we get, guess what? A stick. <laughs> a regular old stick. All right. Let's see. Stick. The tape holds the two pieces together surprisingly well. And can we get what's on top of there? Yes, with a broken piece of tape together, the stick is long enough for me to reach it. 
cassette tape. A tape? How did that get there? I wonder what's on it. But also, somebody's written the label. If you drop me, I'm sure to crack. But give me a smile and I'll always smile back. Okay. Hmm. Is that meant... Hey. Hello. Where did she come from all of a sudden? Doesn't matter. I've never been so glad to see another person. Even she shouts at me. I don't know who you think you are. Waving sticks around like a savage. But if there's a library, I don't tolerate your hooligans. What? Doesn't she notice how empty the town is? And that we are cut off from everyone else? Or am I hallucinating after all? I wish I could talk. This would make things so much easier. No, that she probably won't understand me. I sign. Do you know what happened? Where is everyone? What do you. Stop waving your hands around. Out. Out of you. Don't come back into this library until you've learned some manners. Desperately, I try to say something, but nothing happens. The lump of my throat is as solid as ever. I can't even grunt or scream. Out of you. This librarian is a B word. Go. Yeah. Damn it. But maybe. If this woman's here, there might be others. Maybe I'll find someone who will answer my questions. I'll just have to find a way to communicate. Hmm. Right, the pencil and paper I took with me. How could I forget? And now that I think about it, I should take notes in case I need to remember something. Writing down my thoughts has always helped me. Check the menu to see your notes. Right. Personal notes, scribbling down my thoughts has always helped me to stay organized. Find a way home. Find a way to test a cassette tape. Who still uses those? <laughs> right, not a good idea. No need to peer off when I don't really need to get there. Yeah, call me a hooligan. Bloody prejudiced woman right there. Prejudiced person! For goodness sakes, judging me. How dare you. You don't know what I've gone through. You don't know who we are. You know, but I could just smack you out of this dimension using my karate skills. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the protagonist has karate skills. Hello there. Oh, a new customer. Hello. May I, how may I help you? Another person. Maybe she knows what's going on. I take out my pencil and paper and start writing on it. Do you know what's going on? She's not reacting at all. Are there other people here? No reaction. Is there a way to leave town? Nothing. She doesn't acknowledge the paper I'm showing her at all. She's just staring at me. No, not, not at, through me. Her smile never changes. This feels wrong. She feels wrong. Suppressing a shiver, I realize she wouldn't read my notes no matter how long I hold it out to her. So I just shake my head. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Feel free to look around, though. Do you have a cassette tape which I can use? Oh, wait, what's that there? The radio has a tape player installed. Perfect! Now let's see what's on this tape. Play tape. Ah, oh, interesting, this radio, I see. Sorry to say, dear, but you use it, you buy it. It's pretty old, so if it breaks while well, you try it out, I'll be stuck with a broken radio, no compensation for it. But I have no money, but somewhere there is an open cash register, isn't there? Oh, I see. Maybe we can find another way for you to compensate for this radio? How about... A favor? Yeah... I feel a chill running down my spine. Something about is, that look is oddly familiar it makes me nauseous. Is she implying... Oh, no need to look so fine. I was asking for a simple favor. Nothing bad, though, really, now. In the room behind me is my locker. Inside all my belongings, including my phone. Not so long ago, the little brat that always hangs around the parking lot of the school stole the key and now can't open it. Every time I talk to him, he runs off. If you could get him to listen and bring me my key, you can have the radio, free of charge. Well then, okay, we can do that then. Hopefully. Along the lines. Some point down the line. Okay, let's move on then. Okay, so the car parking lot was oh, oh you must be him the longer i look at her the more my heart my head hurts so okay okay dokey all right so this hello there who are you what do you want 
I'm sure he doesn't know sign language, but maybe I can try memeing. I pretend I am holding a key in my hand, turn it as in a twisting motion and make a clicking sound with my tongue as if a door opened. Maybe he didn't understand. Should I try it again? You want this key? I'm not giving it back. That woman is a total creep. Pleading, I fold my hands together. I feel like I'm about to cry. Fine, but I'm not doing it without giving anything in return. I need help. Follow me into the school. What do you want? God, it feels like a favor for a favor for a favor. It feels like a, f a favor quest. A favor line of quests. Oh god, I think this is, this is gonna be bad. Anybody with a hoodie is gonna be bad in these circumstances. A horror game after all. What do you want me to do? Open the principles of... Or maybe your name is Max, actually. As I'm thinking about it now. See this? This is my locker. I lost my combination code and I need to get my books. Otherwise I can't go home. My dad would be furious and then... I can't go home without these books. I remember I wrote down a clue for myself in case I forgot, but I can't find it. If you help me open my locker, the key is yours. My homeroom is 1B. I already searched through it, but maybe you'll find something I overlooked. I'll wait here. Okay. What? If I helped you and you found, and found it myself, and I wouldn't have to give you the key. You have, uh, you have to earn it. Fine, then. But I feel like there is some... Maybe we can check the principal's office, actually. I don't know. Maybe there's something in not even be infirmary of the principal's office. Let's just search here first. Hmm. Max. The phone doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Your name isn't Max and otherwise something might have popped up. What about this place? What about that place? The door is locked. Right. Something spells like that this is an elaborate trap. But I'm guessing not. Alright, let's go down to 1B then. It's a library receipt for Alice in Wonderland. Oh, but you moved. D did that thing move? Yeah, it sure did. Alright, what would be around here then if that is the case? Hmm... A library receipt for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Obviously, that is not going to be the case, Ben. But that is something. Maybe we can give it to him? I don't know. If if there was a code on it, it smells like old bananas. Uh, if there was a code on it or something like that, then we would have figured it out right about now. Or uh, already from the... Okay, anyways... My bad, being able to, not being able to read text and all that. Such a simple thing to do, but with my autistic brain, it's so hard at times. I found something. You found something? Ah, I have a library receipt. I remember now. I think I put a clue inside the book, Alice in Wonderland. Looks like I have to go to the library. I don't have permission to go in the library because of a goddamn lady who's going to throw us out again. Stupid librarian. Putting us on a pedestal, thinking I'm a hooligan. Just because I want to reach for something. And then you say that I'm a bad person just because you don't know me. Maybe I'll find a way to get her to let me look at the books. Yeah, maybe. Hi. Can you hear me? I said I don't tolerate hooligans. Leave. Reason. I need a minute. You can't even... You can even watch me to make sure I don't do anything bad. Do you think I don't have anything better to do? I don't trust you. Get out of my life before I get really angry. Hmm. I guess I don't know enough about her to make a convincing case. I should try to gather information on her. Maybe I can ask around. Yes, what is her past history and stuff like that? Maybe that person at the bus stop may know something. Let's see. Hello. It's almost like I know her. It's like waking up after a dream. Everything about her is familiar but blurry. From her hair and her eyes to the box she is holding, I get a, fe a feeling of deja vu. Hmm. Her eyes stare into the distance, unseen. She looks exhausted. The smell of her perfume makes me want to cry. 
She looks so sad, holding her joy box in her hands. I'm not sure if I should disturb her. When I look at her, something in my chest hurts. Multiple dialogue pieces. Anybody at the convenience store? Oh, there is somebody at the convenience store. Another person. Maybe he knows what's going on. He scans the items intensely. Hey there, can I help you with something? Ask about... The librarian. Do you know the librarian? Ah, funny that you ask. <laughs> She's my wife, do you know that? What? How do you do that? He hasn't looked at a paper at all. He's staring me straight in the eyes with a blank look. So no matter how creepy it is, at least I am getting some answers, even if it really isn't that important ones. Did she say, did she spend, send you to spy on me? That seems like something she'd do. So she isn't, she is, really isn't that bad. I know she can be intimidating. She really likes flowers. If you wanted to get her talking, ask her about her garden. Alrighty then, looks like we've got something to discuss about. This librarian is not what you'd call a lovely person. Look, I'm coming here no matter what, okay? Really? Your husband went home and asked me to tell you that he needs help tending to the garden. He says he doesn't want it to want to mess it up. Oh no, he always ruins my mimosos by overwatering them. Great, good. Good. Lovely. We can investigate the li- Oh wait, Alice in Wonderland is in A. Ah, there it is. Alice Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Hmm. What is it about these that we need? Down the rabbit hole, we pull the tears. A caucus race and a long tail. The rabbit sends a little, little bill. Advice from a caterpillar. Pig and pepper. In pepper sauce. A mad tea party. The Queen's Croquet Ground, the Mock Turtle Story, the Lobster Quadrile, who stole the tarts, and Alice's Evidence. What are we supposed to decipher from all this? One, three, four, five, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, they are missing. Oh, it's the ones which have been ripped out, which we need to make note of. But I don't know the order in which they go in. That is a thing, isn't it now? Which order do they go in? Hmm, convenience store. Oh, you're still there. I thought the librarian would have... He's scanning the items intently. Um, the town. Do you know what happened? Why are we cut off? He says to me with an unchanging smile, not looking at the paper, no matter how much I try to get him to. <laughs> yeah, alright, then let me know if you need something. Okay, okay, okay. You've already asked about the librarian. Right, here, let's look at this again. Right, Alice in Wonderland. So we've got one. Okay, so we've got two. Six and seven. Nine. One, six, seven. So, six, two, six, seven, nine. Those are the pages which are missing. Hmm. Very, very good. Let us see if that is the correct code. But then again, does he know the code by just looking at this? Ah, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I remember now. Well, if you already have a book, you may as well put in the locker combination for me. Thanks. Two, six, seven, nine. There we go. I got it. You did it. Thank you so much. Right. Ah, like and like I promised, here's a key. Receive shopkeeper's key. Thanks. I'm glad of that. The locker smells like cheap chewing gum and antiseptic. Music shop. Here we are. Oh, sorry, it says movie shop. Ah, you're back. And you have my key. Well done. There you go. Thanks, dear. You can have the radio now. Okay, just disappeared in there for some reason. Ah, yeah, and like I promised, radio is now yours. Thanks. <laughs> we will play the tape, absolutely. What's going on here? It's locked. Goodness sakes. Play tape. Oh, 
I don't know what you're saying. It's reversed. I should take the radio with me. It could come in handy. Indeed it could. Received old radio. Thank you very much. Right, what's our next objective then? Aside to wander around town even more for some kind of clue that may not even be in existence. Hmm. Nothing at all. Fantastic. Oh, there's somebody at the bar. Hello. Hmm, what do you want? Get lost. Alright. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. It's okay. I'm not going to do it again. I've been having a rough few weeks, but that's not your fault. I'm just... depressed. You haven't seen car keys anywhere, have you? I lost mine. I have no idea where they could be. Without them, I can't get back home. I mean, I could walk, but I just can't... I just... I can't just turn up without my car. I promised my wife not to go back here. I promised no more, no more alcohol after what, after what happened last time. I'm too ashamed to call her and tell her what I've done. I can't face her. So, if you find car keys somewhere, please let me know, okay? Fine, we've got ourselves another quest. But then again, this could be something along the lines of retrieving our memories. Right, this is a small town. Or a small accessible part of a town. So maybe we can find something which we can help us out. You done in there? Alright. Maybe not. For car keys. Do you know anything about car keys? Have you seen any car keys lying around? Car keys? Yeah, I think I saw something in the alleyway back between the skyscraper and the little brick house right next to the supermarket. Jeez Louise, look at time. I should probably head home. I have been a half day today, so I promise to do some gardening. Okay, I'm... Glad about that. Okay. Goodbye then. Skyscraper and something else. So the skyscraper is pretty distinctive. Oh wait, that could have been it actually. Anyway. This way. Okay, as creepy as this is, I need to go through there to get the car keys. I always carry a keychain flashlight with me. It's almost out of battery and practical uses, but for this, I need it. If anything goes well, this will only take a minute. I hope. I hope anyways. Oh god, this is creepy as hell. There they are, received car key. And now I'm going to get through the hell away from here. Yeah, there's something. I thought so. There's something that's going to come out, isn't there? Did you see a cat by any chance? A kitty? Alright. I found said car keys to the person who was at the bar. And that must be your car right there. Right. I found it. I found your car keys. My car keys? Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally go home. And I decided to tell my wife the truth. I already broke her trust by coming here again. The least I could do is be honest about it. Oh, you can have this. I forgot to give it back after using it. You know I could use some freshening up. Hey, shut up, you. Received toilet key. Why? Um, okay, we're, we're literally stuck. Oh no, we're literally stuck here. <laughs> no, <laughs> something scripting is doing this. Okay, folks, we're back here the next time of Lullaby if we can be able to get back to this point, that is. Or get past this point, what I mean to say. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the game for yourselves. It will be linked down in the description below where you can download it for yourselves. It is completely for free. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next time. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.